Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miranda, and if you're new, then welcome. If you are not, welcome back. Today I'm going to be just doing a full face of just my regular products, but I'm going to be trying out two new products that I have got recently from a brand that is has controversy but before we get into the video please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell so you can get notification every time i upload a video because you do not want to miss anything so let's get on with the video <laughs> cover effects a blurring primer i am already running out but good thing i already have another one that i i accidentally opened because i forgot i actually had this one and i needed to use it up but anyways i'm using this primer because i believe this primer works the best for me not everybody will have the same opinion everybody will have a different primer that works for their skin type but for me I believe this one actually really works for me because it actually blurs out my pores, my acne, and everything else. <sighs> there we go. And one of the products that is new, I am going to be using these blending eggs from Beauty Bakery. And um, these, I believe, come in six. And here is the packaging on the outside. There's a little carton, and there they are. And they are beautiful. I love the packaging. It's like a carton. When you open them up, if I could open them up, it's like a carton of eggs. But the beauty blenders um, take the place of the eggs. And yes, one is missing because I already used one. But I'm going to be using this one. I'm going to be using a pink one actually today. So that way you guys can see. Now let me go with this real quick and I'll compare how this is to the wet blend bl beauty blender be right back so here is the beauty blender all wet and here it is not wet like dry and you can really see the difference it really did expand a lot when you fill the dry one it is a little rough but when once it gets wet it becomes softer so here is the difference for my foundation i'm actually going to be using my color pop no filter stick foundation which is this one right here and it is the medium 85c i believe i can't really see without my glasses on but here it is i hope you guys can see it and let's just put this all over my face and then blend it out there we go now let's blend this out this sponge is actually pretty good for me I have seen videos where so not celebrities but um beauty gurus have reviewed this brand the beauty bakery brand and they did not like their foundation I actually already ordered the foundation against Steeler. they are already on their way Hopefully I could get that soon and I can review that for you guys on camera. But for right now, I just bought the eggs and I bought one other product that I'll be using shortly. But the blue Beauty Blender or the egg, the blending egg, is actually pretty good. It is, I like it. It's not your typical Beauty Blender egg or whatever, but they're... It did pick up some product, but not as much as a regular makeup sponge would. And I believe there, my makeup is all done. I believe my my foundation is done. Next, I'm going to be using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And then I'll be using a new product. Which I need to get a new concealer of because this one is already running out as you guys can see. I just love doing my makeup so I run out of it a lot. Almost done blending. 
if you guys have tried beauty um bakery the foundation and the concealer please let me know down below on what you guys think about it and what your thoughts are if you liked it, if you didn't if oof, almost dropped my beauty sponge if you didn't let me know why and if you did let me know why just comment down below on what you guys think of this brand so next up for from beauty bakery i have purchased their flower setting powder which is so cute because it comes in with a little flower packet as the, like it is like this and you just open it up and it even has like the nutrition facts on the side which i think is so cute um and there it is it has this gold nice round to it and it is their flower setting powder and i got an oat which i actually wanted translucent but i guess it didn't want to go through so i got this one instead now let me take the safety thing off and then let me pour some on the cap if some will come off there we go and it looks just like that now I'm gonna dip my brush into it and just use it for baking Now I'm just gonna wipe the rest of it on my face and whatever's left on the cap just put all over my face so it could set. And then I'm just gonna let this sit real quick. And while I am baking, I'm gonna. Where is my. Okay. I was looking for this. And how could I miss this one? This is like so big and it's gold and like. Yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna be using the Park Avenue Princess from Tarte for my bronzer or my contour or however you wanna say it. But I'm gonna be using this right now so that way I won't have to worry about it. Because sometimes I always forget about it. Also, comment down below if you do both, if you bronze or if you contour or if you do both, let me know. I really only do bronzer because I really don't know how to contour just yet. But I am determined to learn. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm going to be wiping off the powder. And as you can see, there's, I put a lot. Now I'm just going to use my sponge just to tap it in. Just to make sure I put foundation on there. I have foundation in my hair. I guess my hair is going to get a makeover today. <laughs> there we go. I just brushed off all the powder and then I dab it in a little. Now I'm going to finish up my bronzer real quick now that the powder is out of the way. And there we go. Next up for my blush, I'm going to be using the Zoella and Carpop Press Powder pick, um, Blush, which is this one right here, and it is called Soulmate. And I do have a soulmate. I am married to him. Do you guys have a soulmate? If you have it, if you don't, don't worry. I am your soulmate. I will be, I'll be there for you. And I don't really want to go ham on the blush because 
honestly I don't really like that much a blush on me I think it will look a little I don't know how to say it but I don't really like a lot of blush on me but for next I'm going to be doing my highlight and I'm going to be using the Disney Villain Super Shock Highlighter from Colourpop it is the Cruella collection and here is the highlighter and yes I still have the plastic on but here is the highlighter and I'm just going to be using a brush and there we go I don't know if you guys can see it on camera but it is on Next, I'm going to be doing my eyes, and before I do my eyes real quick, I am going to go and get my eyeshadow primer, because I forgot it for some reason, and I'll be right back. So I am back, and for my eyeshadow primer, I'm going to be using this Luscious Angel Eye Eyeshadow Primer Base, which is this purple tube right here. And most of you already know about this, because uh, there was it was in our BoxyCharm last year for, I forgot what month, but we all got it and I really kind of don't like it um it makes my eyes look white when I put it on maybe because I put too much or if it's just the eyeshadow primer but as you guys can see my eyes are a little white but that's just it okay so for this next product it is a new for me I don't know if you guys already tried this brand but for me that I have never tried anything from this brand and it is a beauty glazed I know this is like a knockoff brand and they do copycat well they sort of copycat a lot of um, big high-end brands for their eyeshadow palettes like I think they have a Jaclyn heel dupe eyeshadow palette on Amazon and this is where I got mine I got mine on off of this one off of Amazon and I know they have other ones too, but for right now, I'm just going to be, be using this Uranus Beauty Glazed Bright, Tint Eyesh Bright Eyeshadow, which is this one right here. It does not have a mirror, but here are the shadows. And I have already used this um, eyeshadow palette just because I want to see what I could create. And as you could see, this blue, uh-uh, like I like it and all, but when I try to pick up some it like moves I don't know if you guys could see that but it moves and I don't really like when it does that so I try not I'm not going to use that one today so I'm just going to be using the mats in here and let's see what we could create alright uh, let me get a brush um, Okay, I'm going to be first using this light blue right here and put it in my crease I'm gonna pat it in and then I'm gonna blend it out just so we could get an even layer of the eyeshadow on the eyes dab more on it is coming off a little dark green rather than a bright green <sighs> let me dab it and blend it out on this eye it kind of reminds me of the eyeshadow in the BH Cosmetics and Daisy Marquez palette her Tiffany green I believe Tiffany teal or, or whatever color that is in her palette it kind of reminds me of that just hers is more brighter and it is a I believe a glitter while this one is a matte and um I guess we are done with this shadow ah uh, there's fallout as you guys can see I'm gonna try wiping that away and there we go next I'm going to be using this dark shadow right here 
and let's just put this all over the lid and start blending it outwards from the middle. There we go. So I'm blending it on the lid just like this and then I'm blending it outward just to get the eye covered in this shadow. That eye is done, just this eye a little more. And I believe that's it because the other ones are much glittery. They don't have, there's only like a few matte. There's only a few matte. There is only three matte, mattes actually. There's the this bright one, the blue one, and then the brown one. I don't know if I want to use the brown one. Let me see. I'm just dabbing the brown one into the crease. Well, I dabbed it, now I'm blending. And it actually kind of looks okay. It's, um, it darkened up the crease a little and darkened up the, the eye a little. So I guess I can't complain. Gonna darken up the outer corner just a little and then blending it out into the crease just like that. Okay, I like that. Okay, I am done with my eyes. If it does not look good, I am sorry. I am not a professional beauty guru. I don't have experience really with eyeshadow like this. But anyways, moving on, I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner, which is this one right here, just for my eyeliner real quick. And then... We'll move on to mascara and then we're done with my look. So let's put on my eyeliner. My eyeliner is on and I believe this eyeliner is already running out actually. It was a little hard putting it on. I actually put a little thickness on it because um, it didn't want to come out. So for my eye eye eyeliner, <laughs> my mascara, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Which is this one right here in this little black bottle. And let's see my eyelashes grow because my eyelashes are very, very tiny. Okay, I am done. I'm not putting too much because it is actually making my eyelashes very thick and there's a lot of product on them already. So I'm just going to be letting them sit for a little bit and see what it does. So let me clean up real quick and then I'll give you my thoughts on the Beauty Bakery and the eyeshadow palette. Okay guys, so for my thoughts on the Beauty Bakery Blending X, they are cute. The packaging is cute. I love them. The bl they blend my... They blended my foundation out very nicely, my concealer. I actually love the blenders. So, 
the blending eggs. I love the eggs. So I am definitely giving this product a A+. Plus. I really liked it. And then for the flower setting powder, I actually do like it. I actually forgot to put the safety stopper inside. So the, if I open it, the powder is just going to go boop. But anyways, I really do like it. I wish I would have got the translucent one, maybe. But the O actually does look nice on me. But for overall, I do like the setting powder. So I hopefully my foundation and concealer come in quickly. So I could give a review on that. If you already have done a review, put your video in the comments. Or tag me in a comment in that video or something. Just let me know that you guys have done it. And I'll check your channel out for that. And for the eyeshadow palette, I... Didn't really like it, but I'm going to be keep using it. I love the shadows. Of course, they are very, very gorgeous, except for that glittery one. But anyways, that is it for today. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.